So now supercapacitors are one of the trickiest components to work with. It's also used as a power source, uh, mostly used as a power source. But in any case, supercapacitors can easily generate high current. And also, they only usually handle low voltages. So if you overcharge them, that will damage the supercapacitor. Also, if this side gets more positive than that side, you'll have a reverse charge and that will easily damage the supercapacitor. It may even explode or something, uh, catch fire, anything. So you gotta be careful. And this protection board uh, will hopefully protect it from that. We'll do some more testing on that. But in any case, uh, don't use supercapacitors based on my videos alone. Learn about them in uh, detail. But in any case, I taped this protection board to the top of this supercapacitor. Here's the protection board here. These are surface mount components. The back is just flat. They just uh, solder directly to the board. So we don't have to worry about anything on the other side of the board. It will lay flat. Now, these appear to be made for uh, round posts. The supercapacitors I have don't have round posts. They have these little legs here. So I'm gonna solder mine on in a little bit different way. So now I want the alligator to be able to clip like that. So I'm going to try to keep the solder below that point and uh, fill it in down here where there's a lot of metal on uh, both the board and the supercapacitor. Where these little areas are here, these flatter areas. So now the iron's not hot yet. One thing. I remembered to do is take this plastic tip off the iron. Last time I used the iron I forgot to take it off but I noticed it before uh, it got too hot. But in any case, we're going to apply the heat in this area where this junction is and then solder this area where there's a lot of metal on both sides of the protection board. And again we're going to verify this side of the board's negative. That's on the negative side of the supercapacitor. This side's positive. It's on the positive side. There's no marking that it's positive. It's just the opposite side of the negative. And before I plug in the soldering iron, I'm going to put on my safety goggles. So now it's a good idea to tin the tip of the soldering iron. I did a little bit, but you can tell the iron's hot enough now. And I'll put it on that spot that I said we're going to solder. So now we're going to do the other side. I'm going to get a little closer than I did last time. Try to get a better look. And fill this one up with solder. So now to get an idea of how well our connection is soldered based on resistance. We'll put uh, one probe of the multimeter over here. And then the other probe we touch to the tip of the terminal that comes out of the capacitor. And you can see we have... Uh, much less than one ohm of resistance from this terminal to the plate that we soldered it to. And again, we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. I think there's a little tape there, so of course we don't want to measure the resistance of that. And here again you can see less than uh, one ohm of resistance between these two points.